Hello friends, I am Najma sir, lecturer in business studies. Today I am here to give some of the very important questions which are frequently asked from this chapter. Okay, what are those questions which are frequently asked in the examinations we are going to discuss today. So let us discuss one by one. So first we are going to discuss about MCQs, multi multiple choice questions. Each question carries one mark. Okay, let us discuss one by one. First one is which of the following does not characterize the business environment here does not characterize you have to read the question very importantly which does not characterize the business environment let us discuss the options uncertainty employees relativity and complexity so here the four options has been given you have to remember the characteristics are the features of the business environment so as I told you as I told you, the business environment deals only the external factors. In the introduction class only I have explained you. So here uncertainty is also a feature, relativity is also a feature, complexity is also a feature. But the B option employee is not a characteristic or a feature of the business environment. The right option is employees. Okay. So these employees come under the internal environment internal environment employees are regarded as integral part of the company next question which of the following best indicates the importance of business environment here the options are identification improvement in performance coping with the rapid changes and all of them so here so here the right option is all of them you have to remember again the importance of business environment so identification of threat and opportunity if you are aware of your business environment then you are in a position to identify the positive trend in a market as well as also in a position to identify or recognize the threats challenges available in a market okay next is what improvement in performance by identifying by knowing the performance of the company you are in a position to improve the performance of the organization next is coping coping with the rapid change if you analyze if you monitor continuously monitoring the business environment if you are in a position to change with the existing changes okay so the right option is all of them next question which of the following is an example of social environment here they are asking social environment example so what is social environment first social environment includes traditions values lifestyles members income okay taste and preferences marriage institution okay family these are the examples of social environment these are the things which is included in a a social environment so what the options they have given supply money supply in the economy no it will not come it comes under my economic environment consumer production no the constitution of the economy no the right answer is composition of the family if we know the correct meaning of social environment you are in a position to choose the correct given option so the right option is composition of family next what do you mean by business environment this particular question is asked for the one mark okay so here business environment meaning you have to write business environment means what some total of the factor which influences the operating of the business which affect the performance of the business some total of the factors what are those factors it may be internal factor or external factor majorly external factors which affecting the operating of the business where the business has no control over those factors this question will be asked for the one mark next this th second one third one and fourth one these three questions carries two marks these are the two marks question what is liberalization give the meaning of globalization and the privatization these are these three questions carries two marks okay if you want explanation of these three you can watch my second video on this chapter next explain the features or nature of business environment so he this particular question is very important this will be asked for the four marks this is a four mark questions 
so here there are seven points you have to explain each and every points in order to carry out of out marks okay so totality of the external forces so business environment is some total of the factors external factors okay which are very aggressive in nature okay next is specific and general forces specific means what internal force micro specific micro factors and general forces means force general factors like macro factors okay you have to study this if you want to clear cut explanation of this again you have to watch the first part of this video next question is what explain the importance of business environment again this question is also a very important question this question carries again four marks four mark question explain the importance of business environment or one more form of question they may ask is why the study of business environment is essential or necessary why the business manager have to study the business environment so this type of question they may ask you should not get confused you have to write same answer so here also there are some uh, points are there you have to explain in brief identification of opportunities to get get first mover advantage identification of threat tapping useful resources coping with the rapid changes assisting in planning and policy formation helps in improving performance next is explain the different dimensions composites of business environment so this question is also again for four marks four mark question and again this question will also asked in the last section of your question paper that is a practical oriented question this question may also ask for the practical oriented marks that may carry fetches you five marks okay and again they may ask for you the one mark or two marks like what is economic environment what is social environment give the example of economic environment technological environment like that such type of question they may ask but you should not get confused you should be thorough in all this thing okay so again explain the different dimension or composition components of the business environment component of a business environment economic social technological environment political environment legal environment if you want in detail discussion of this watch my first video on this chapter next question why explain the impact of government policy changes on business and industries so again this question is very important again this is also for the four marks question increasing competition due to the globalization due to the liberalization that is de licensing of uh, de licensing so here the companies are free to establish or the foreign companies are free to start their business in india due to this what what happened the competi competition has been increased in india so many firms many domestic industries are facing the huge competition in the in the market or in the country that is what increasing competition next more demanding customers more demanding customers why because of the wider changes because of, because of the wider availability of the goods and services because of the choice because of the awareness of the customers because of the knowledge of the customers the knowledge of the customers regarding the product is also increased because of this customers becoming more demanding next rapid changing technological environment due to the rapid technological advancement or improvement which leads to what uh, production process uh, improvements in production or process or method or new types of products products or goods and services which maximize the production at least cost at minimum cost the production has been increased again due to the changes due to the rapid changes in the technology will also has uh, increased the challenge for the small scale industries okay it is which leads to the what tough competition or tough challenges in front of the small scale industries small scale industries are not in a position to adopt this technology as soon as possible because of their investment limit okay next necessity for the change before the introduction of new industrial policy the uh, indian companies indian uh, industries they used to follow the stable 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 policies stable practices they are going to follow but after the introduction of this 
then uh, the market has been changed the market forces has become rapidly changing frequently changing due to this the business firm has to modify their policies they have to modify their practices practices and operation from time to time according to the marketing conditions they have to change their policies and practices as well as their operations that is first necessity for the change next is need for developing human resources because of the globalization the uh, marketing condition requires people with the higher competence due to the this globalization the uh, the employees are required is competent employees knowledgeable employees skillful employees are required okay because of this uh, the need for developing human resources is increased next market orientation so earlier 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 before the introduction of this policy the organizations are focusing on production orientation they are used to produce the goods and services first later they are going to sell those goods and services in the market okay so here the orientation is production orientation later they are going to concentrate on selling concept that is what selling in the market but now after the introduction of this policy that orientation has been changed first the, uh, the orientation change uh, the orientation has been changed from uh, production production orientation to the customer orientation or marketing orientation first what happened in customer orientation they used to analyze the market they make a survey they make a marketing research after researching after getting the data okay after research after survey they are going to collect the information about the customer taste and preferences demand for their goods and services according to the taste and preferences according to the customer demand they are going to produce the goods and services after production of goods and services they are going to sell in a sell in a market that is what here the orientation has been changed from production orientation to the customer orientation and again some more services value added services they are going to render they mean here refers to the organization what are the value added services like educational advertising after sales servicing has become more significant next is what reduction in budgetary support to the public sector so here the budgetary support the finance support given by the government to the public companies to the public sector enterprises has been considerably reduced but these industries have in order to survive in, in order to survive or grow by the public sector they have to utilize their own resources efficiently by utilizing their resources idle resources effectively and efficiently they have to survive and grow they have to earn the profit this is what uh, the reduction in budgetary support to the public sector this is what the frequently asked questions from this chapter you may get around 6 to 7 marks if you have any queries if you have any doubt please do comment on this video thank you